Let's keep our election coverage going by going to our reporter Henry Coburn, who today attended a Pete Buttigieg roundtable in Greenville. So Henry, it's our understanding that this event was focused on health equity. Yeah, that's right, Ben. So the uh, Pete Buttigieg actually met with health care providers from the African-American community in the church you see here behind me, the Nickeltown Church. And an interesting thing to note is that it was close to the public and several people walked up to me and told me they were pretty disappointed that they couldn't get inside to hear what he had to say or ask him any questions. Now, he says part of his platform is to make health care more fair and easily accessible to everyone, especially minorities. He also discussed things like his plan to establish a health equity task force in his first 100 days, addressing biases in health care, health problems caused by housing discrimination, his plan to cap pricing on medications, and his infrastructure investment plan. Whether it's economic issues or health issues, sometimes I find they're being talked about like they're the result of these cosmic, impersonal forces out there when really they're the result of decisions that were made in white buildings in Washington, D.C. And I believe if we make different decisions, we will experience different outcomes. Now, Buttigieg's campaign says his next stop is going to be in Rock Hill at 6 o'clock tonight for a town hall meeting. In Greenville, I'm Henry Coburn, 7 News.